Hi, welcome to SBR TV. I'm Peter Loshak. We are continuing our College Bowl coverage where we've been covering every single bowl game of the bowl season uh, this year. Uh, right now, we're going to be joined once again by a returning guest, Dave Golikoff, senior sports columnist from AskMen.com to talk about three uh, of the upcoming bowls around December 30th. Dave, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I, gave, I assigned you all these bowls now. These were not bowls that you picked, and these are tough bowls. We'll see what you have to say about it. The first one, Pinstripe oh, yeah. Bowl. You know what, Peter? I know you picked these bowls for me, but I think I've got some good picks. Yeah. I, know, I know it's completely random. You picked them yes. probably at random, and I didn't really have a beat on these going in, but... I did the research, and I think I've got a few good picks for us. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. Right on. All right, well, we'll start with the Pinstripe Bowl, which is actually the toughest of the three bowls, in my opinion. It's Rutgers and Iowa State. Now, Iowa State, uh, of course, had a very, very, very tough schedule uh, this year, and Rutgers had a very easy schedule. Iowa State, of course, beat um, Oklahoma State, and Rutgers could have gotten to the uh, to a BCS bowl game uh, this year if they had been able to beat UConn in their last game, but they couldn't. Iowa State did beat UConn earlier in the year. So looking at all this all together, you know, why should Iowa State be a small underdog of plus one and a half points? But this is one of those bowl situations that makes me feel a little bit funny. You know, um, I look at this game and I think, would a bowl win here really be bigger than Iowa State's win over Oklahoma State? I don't think so. And also, you know, Iowa State is, is very, you know, excited, maybe a little bit spooked uh, by coming to New York, cold weather, a big state. Whereas for Rutgers, it's not that big a deal. Most of those guys are familiar with the vibe in New York. Even though on paper, I would lean towards Iowa State. I think I'm actually going to stay off. What's your take on these lines? Yeah, well, this I'll start by saying this is my weakest of the three right, picks. Right. But I do like Iowa State in this mm -hmm. game. I mean, you mentioned that there's sort of a lot of moving parts in this game that you can't really get a great beat on it. But, um, you know, Iowa State is thrilled to be going to New York. A lot of their players haven't even been to New York um, so this is actually quite an uh, achievement for them, and I think they'll really be up for this game. When you start getting to the X's and O's, and I, I really see that, that being where the game is won or lost, um, the running games is really the difference in this, yeah. in this contest and the run defenses. Iowa State, I mean, if you, if you follow them closely, throw out their statistics on defense um, down the stretch of the season because that defense actually played better than the, the numbers indicate, and they've played some – pretty you know good offenses we know the big 12 is all about offenses um rutgers they rank 115th in the nation out of uh, 120 teams as far as running the football so they're not going to get much done on the ground on the flip side uh they are 56th on uh, uh as far as rush defense is concerned and really that's where iowa state is is their bread is buttered uh or their yeah their bread is buttered uh, i think if they can run the football uh, they're going to win this game as long as they don't do any stupid turnovers, which they are, you know, at times prone to do. Then I see them as a good value play plus the three points here.